Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Scrapman, bringing you another episode of Trailmakers, and today we're going to be having some fun. We're going to be fooling around. Uh, it's doing something a little bit different, in which we're just going to, um, as you can see by this diving belt seat, just rolling away. What if we get into it? Is it still going to keep rolling? Uh, I, we're going to be doing silly wheels experiments, basically. I want to, uh, starting with the diving belt, I want to just make a basic car foundation, and then I want to just have fun with using wheels that aren't your standard wheels, or wheel designs that aren't your standard wheels, just to see what happens. And the first test I want to do is the diving bell. I just want to see what happens if we use a diving bell on all of our wheels. Does it work? Does it explode? What happens? And then we're going to just come up with anything else we can think of to attach to wheels on our vehicles. And uh, I think it's going to be a fun episode. I don't know what to expect, but uh, that's going to be the fun of it. Okay, so first things first, we have to build a basic car. And the interesting thing about using things like the diving bells instead of just normal wheels is normal wheels have a standard center attachment point, whereas pretty much everything else doesn't. Which is okay, because in order to make everything else rotate, we're going to have to use the spinning servo. And the spinning servo does not have a center attachment point. So that's going to work especially well for the diving bell, because the diving bell will fit perfectly centered on the spinning servo. So that's what we're going to be using. The only weird thing about the spinning servo is how much space it takes up. So if we're going to add steering into it, then it's going to be a wheel that sticks out this much with the steering. And then if you want to add suspension into it, that's just going to add a whole nother layer of weirdness to this thing. I guess you could add like two suspension to it. So yeah, that's going to be what a single wheel is going to look like with uh, all of the parts to make it functional and hopefully durable. But we'll worry about that after we have a car frame. So I don't really know what this car frame is going to look like. I'm just going to build some stuff around a seat and we'll see what we end up coming up with. Let's get building.
gentlemen, welcome to the base frame of what we built. I spent a lot of time just uh, on the pipes. The pipes are actually kind of time consuming to organize and match up with each other. So for some reason, I decided I wanted some type of roll cage to this thing. So I think it looks all right. I think it's decent. So we have our wheel mechanisms attached with no wheels actually attached to them. But uh, I've discovered that it actually kind of works as is. Not very great, but we can still kind of get around. So that's kind of amusing. But first off, we're going to attach the diving bells. I think the diving bells are probably going to be the most effective out of everything that we tried today as far as ground contact because they're actually round and everything else is probably not going to be so round. I don't even know. I, I honestly don't even know what else yet that we're going to actually try. But the main thing is the diving bells. And the funny thing is we could actually get in one of the diving bells and drive this thing around. All right, let's see how this thing works. All right, it already just looks ridiculous. Oh, I'm actually in. I didn't realize I got in one of the diving bells. Okay, you know what? That's not going to work as a camera. Okay, let's uh, not get in the diving bell. Let's get in the main seat there. There we go. All right. Whoa, wait, what? Am I in another dive? What is happening? Why does it do this to the camera? Okay. Well, uh, I knew that weird things were going to happen when we use different things for wheels, but this right here was not one of them. What? All right, hold on. I, is there any... It, there must be a camera. Okay. At least, at least like, the top of the camera works okay. All right. What? <laughs> Why are we attaching ourselves to the diving bell, like, rotation? Why... Why all of the cameras do this? I can't tell what's happening. All right, the other the other unexpected side effect is that these spinning servos appear to actually have a lot of torque. So when we're spinning them, it wants to wheelie us really, really bad. So uh, I don't know the best way to do that. I don't know the best way to counter that. Like I could, oh. That was a big explosion. All right, so the diving bell. Whoa, it works now. Oh, okay. I think that happened because, oh wow, this steering does not work very well, does it? I might need to make this longer. Yeah, this vehicle, oh, that's gonna be really tough to do. Making this thing longer is not gonna be that simple. But uh, it looks like when I get in the diving bell first, it sets the camera to that seat. So I have to make sure I get in the appropriate seat first. But, um, as you can see, uh, I don't know what to think about this. There's a lot of torque going on. I'm going to stiffen the suspension a bit because the torque is really just compressing the suspension a lot. Oh man, that really didn't help. Okay, there we go. We have like no traction. And I think that's because all of my weight is going into the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bunch of weight on the front using the weight blocks here. We're just going to put 50 kilograms right up on the nose here. All right, there we go. Let's see how this uh, 50 kilograms helps us with staying on the ground. Surprisingly, not very much. Oh, and I'm actually in... I'm actually in the diving bell. I didn't even realize that. Okay. Oh boy, you know what the 50 kilograms doesn't help us with is reverse. Look at that. <laughs> All right, so clearly with my wheelbase being so wide because of how much we have to stack onto these uh, wheel mechanisms, I'm going to have to make this thing longer. And I'm just going to attempt to copy and paste this middle section. I don't know how this is going to go, but uh, we'll see what happens. All right, I think that actually worked pretty well. We have a lot more engines on this thing, and engines are actually completely useless since we have no wheels, and engines pretty much get routed directly to the wheels. So let's see how this thing feels in comparison. Oh, no, not again. Not again. No, no, no. <laughs> that is just, that's actually kind of hilarious, that effect. All right, um, I think we have to respawn. There we go, much better. Okay, wow, now that's an interesting difference happening here. Why do we bounce now? Okay, well this is better. This is definitely better. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is... Oh, that's what's happening. Look at the spinning servos. They're getting detached from themselves. What? 
there are way more interesting things happening than I thought there were going to be with the diving bells. I thought the diving bells were just going to be, let's just roll across the ground on diving bells. Cool, whoopee, we did it. But this is, uh... This is resulting in some fun things. All right, let's, uh, let's take it to the extremes. I'm going to change the speeds of all of these servos to max. And we're going to see what that does for us. And then we're actually going to try to drive this thing on various terrain and see if we can get away with not exploding. All right, 10 speed. All right, here we go. Maximum speed for the spinning servos. Let's do this and go. Holy, okay. All right, well, that's a problem. That's a problem. We're wheeling the whole time. Uh, I don't, we need a wheelie bar. That's all we need is a wheelie bar. What were we thinking? All right, hopefully that's going to help us not flip over. Let's find out. Okay. I mean, it does help us not flip over, but it doesn't help us keep our front wheels on the ground. The, the force, the torque is just too much. Holy cow. Holy cow, that is a lot. Oh. Oh. Wait a minute. Wasn't... Didn't I have an indestructible seat? Oh, there it is. Okay, I guess I just wasn't in the indestructible seat. All right, well, clearly the torque... Oh, man. Oh, man. Clearly the torque... Oh. The torque is just way too powerful on max speed with these things. Actually, this is better with three wheels than it is with four. All right, but there's still no turning. You know what? I might need to put four-wheel steering on this because these things just do not work the way that uh, you need them to work. All right, let's see how this feels. Oh, this feels terrible. This feels absolutely terrible. However, it's actually turning. It's working. <laughs> It's working better than it was before, but oh man, this is so silly. I knew this was gonna be like this silly wheels episode. What is happening with this? Okay, but it works. Okay, so now let's, uh, we have to test this thing out on some like actual terrain things. Uh, let's try to go up this ramp. It feels like there's no traction on these diving bells whatsoever. So it's gonna be really interesting trying to get up a ramp here, but uh, we gotta try it. All right. All right, let's just, let's just stay, keep it steady. Keep it steady. There we go. I'm surprised we haven't exploded already. And yeah, we got no traction. Oh, oh. You know what? I'm going to, um, I'm going to put a destructible seat on there. Because whenever that happens, uh, and I try to repair myself, it just, it doesn't work. All right, this should work. Uh, so now... I'll try my best to get back over there. So now if we explode, I think if I press the repair button, it should actually repair the entire vehicle rather than just the seat. And man, this thing behaves weird. Um, okay, there it goes, there it goes, there, oh. I'm actually surprised I survived. All right, scaling the ramp take uh, more than two. Uh, all right, we're getting there. We're not getting there. This is not gonna work. There's no way this is gonna work. Oh, I'm actually surprised that we like really smoothly went down off of the ramp. I thought we were gonna explode on the ground there. Okay, we gotta go downhill then. We, we gotta go bombing downhill. So I think the best place for that is... Can we spot... What, what's over here? I don't know what this spawn point... Excuse me? What? This is not the vehicle. What? I thought... It, I don't understand that. That's weird. All right, let's try this again. Uh, where's the downhill section? We have to go across the catapult. Uh... Alright. Oh, uh, don't... No, okay, we're just gonna get catapulted. This is gonna be great. Yeah, that's what I was expecting. Ooh, ooh, here we go. If we start on the ramp right here, we can go down the ramp, then down that road. Alright, here we go. Can we go at least downhill without... Oh! Oh, oh! oh. Whoa! I feel like a a derpy salamander. That's what I feel like right now. Some weird lizard that has not evolved correctly for the environment. Oh boy. Oh. 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 I had a feeling that was going to happen. And the repairing, of course, just gives me a single seat. And down the hill we go. This thing is just going to be a, like, a, a ski. We're just going to go skiing. I have no... I have no control. I can't turn over in that direction. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is it going to survive? Nope, but that's a that's a beautiful hunk of junk flying through the air, isn't it? 
All right, I think we've had enough with the diving bell. I think it's about time that we experiment with uh, some other types of wheels. So before we break away from the seat idea, let's try some other types of seats to see what happens. So first, oh, we can't actually attach it by its more centered point, which is just gonna make this even more ridiculous. So we'll attach it right, oh, actually, nope, that's not centered either. Oh, wait, 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 no, no, that's, oh, here we go, here we go. I think that is the most centered point to attach it by. All right, that's what we're going with. So we're gonna be trying the uh, standard seat. And then after this, I'm gonna try the indestructible seat because I wanna see what the indestructible seat feels like. Because presumably the indestructible seat won't explode. So I think that might actually be an effective seat to use. Whoa. Oh, oh, hold on. We got our weird seat thing happening. Our weird camera thing. All right, here we go. All right, I'm trying to go backwards first. It's kind of working. I'm actually really surprised. I'm really surprised that these seats don't instantly explode after being hit- after their sides getting hit against the ground. They're like, look at this! That's kind of ridiculous. Alright, let me try, uh, turning down the servos so we can stay flatter easier and just see if we can casually stroll our way across. Alright, here we go. This is six. Alright. Oh, much more doable. Oh, look at that! This is actually pretty good. And I'm honestly surprised that these seats don't explode. I thought that there'd be a lot of impact going on with the irregular shape of these seats. And you can see it, you can hear it. But uh, I think the, the cushioning of the suspension probably helps out a lot with this. Indestructible seat wheels. Let's give it a try. Oh, no, that thing's happening again. This is stupid. <laughs> I don't know why I decided to do this episode. I thought it'd be fun and... It's definitely entertaining in one way. <laughs> Just the sheer stupidity of it. But uh, let's try some more interesting things. Let's get away from the seats and let's start putting some other stuff that uh, is going to probably give us some different results. All right, here we go. What if we use eyeball? Oh, that's a small eyeball. All right, what about this one? Oh, this is just bad. This, it's just so small. All right, we're going to go for it. Eyeballs for wheels. All right, eyeballs for wheels. Ooh. This feels pretty good. This actually feels pretty good. I like it. This is fun. This is a good one. I think more cars should have googly eyes on their wheels. Like, you know how car people like to trick out their cars with spinner rims? What if you had googly eyes and as the wheel spins, it actually has a free-floating googly eye that gets thrown around? That would look hilarious. Somebody should totally do that idea. I want to see googly eye spinner rims on cars in 2019. Somebody make that happen. I'll collect the royalties. It'll be great. All right, I think it's time to put something other than googly eyes on here now. Uh, but I gotta say, googly eye spinner rims is probably the best thing I've come up with since the Scrapman stabilizer mug and scrap mechanic. All right, so I know the question on everybody's mind, obviously, is what happens when you put uh, very explosive engines for wheels? So we're gonna choose the biggest engine we have and also the least regularly shaped engine that we have and let's just see what happens. I'm, I'm predicting instant explosion, but we don't know until we try. All right, uh, here goes nothing. Whoa, whoa. Why are these, I mean, I guess they're a lot heavier so the torque is just a lot greater. Holy cow, I'm at, why aren't these exploding? I thought these things were very, very explosive. I'm really surprised. All right, what happens if we max out the speed? We're just gonna flip over, but... All right, speed, 10 speed, let's go. Oh boy, yeah, we're gonna need, oh boy. Holy cow, all right, there goes one. <laughs> we got one left. Oh man. Look at that though. Look at how much the torque just affects us. All right, let's expand our wheelie bar in preparation for this ridiculousness here. All right, how's that for a wheelie bar? I think that looks pretty great. Let's do this. These engines are just too heavy. Look at the, oh, there we go. There we go. We're on the ground. We're on the ground. We're doing it. We're driving. We're actually driving. And I thought we were gonna explode on that wall there, but nope, I guess not. Okay, and into the ocean we go. Oh, this is just ridiculous. I love it. So let's try something a little bit more extreme here, a little bit more fun. What we're going to do is we're going to make a wheel out of wheels. All right, let's try this. I, don't, I have no idea what to expect for this. I should probably turn down... Where'd my vehicle go? Where? No, 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 no. Where'd it go? Get back here. 
There it is. Okay. All right. Yeah. So. Holy cow. We flattened our wheels in the back. Look at that. This is crazy. All right. We're going to have to slow this down, I think. Oh. <laughs> that is actually insane. This is awesome. Ooh. And go. Okay. This is working. This is working. Oh no, we flattened them. Uh, you can hear the you can hear the air leaving all of the wheels. We're gonna have to try different types of wheels to see the different effects. All right, let's pause. Let's take a look at what's happening here. Ooh, 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 that just does not look very healthy. I think every single wheel has been flattened. Yep. All right, so I'm assuming that the slim wheels are pretty weak compared to other wheels. So let's try this with some other wheels. Whoa, I've got some bad news, people. We've corrupted... We've corrupted the blueprint. All of them. What? All of the... Oh, there we go. We found one. Oh, that was close. Man, I'm actually... I don't know what just happened there. All right, so for the next wheel, let's just use a standard wheel and see how this feels compared to the skinny wheels. I'm assuming that the skinny wheels are more fragile than the standard wheels, so maybe these ones will not pop quite as quickly. All right, here we go. Wheel made of standard wheels. Does this perform differently than the slim wheels? We have it on six speed as well. Oh boy. I'm actually really surprised at how poorly it's doing. Considering all these wheels are also spinning. They seem to have zero effect at all on the ground really. This is so weird. But they're not popping, so they are performing better than the slim wheels as far as durability goes. So that's good to know. The slim wheels are pretty uh, prone to popping. Look at my front wheels. They're angling outwards. This is just stupid. All right. Oh, oh, that was bad. That was a bad idea. Okay. All right. Now things. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here we go. How's that going to work? <laughs> Look at the front one. Oh, this is so derpy. All right, now these wheels are absolutely massive. This is going to be interesting to watch. It's already starting to go on its own. All right, let's hop on in. Let's head back to the starting point here. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. And we're going 25 miles per kilometers an hour, almost 30. Yeah, we're going 30 without even touching anything. All right, three, two, one, go. Oh, boy. All right, that's a little much. That's a little much. All right, we might need a. Oh, we might need to extend our wheelie bar again. Oh, they're so floppy. So floppy. Holy cow. Oh, uh oh, there goes one. This is bad. This is not. This is not comfortable. I'm very uncomfortable with this. Yeah, I can't really figure out why people don't do this more often. I can't think of any reasons why they wouldn't want to do it this way. Zero reasons. I mean, it's all pros. It's just you, you try to make a pro and con list. Name me one con. One con to this type of wheel thing. Just one. I defy you to name a single con. Yeah, that's right. You can't do it. You can't do it. Don't even try. All right. We got to try. Uh, are the monster truck wheels bigger than these or are they the same? All right. Here it goes. We're building it. Uh, this is just going to be a disaster and I'm going to love it. Oh, no, 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 no. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Oh, man. Oh, man. Here, I'm just... I'm not pressing any... I'm just trying to turn. I'm not pressing the gas at all. Just trying to straighten myself out here. All right. This is just... This is terrible. This is terrible already. I haven't even started the gas yet. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. We're off. Oh, it is so bad. It is so bad. But it is so good to watch. Let's get a close-up of this thing here. It's beautiful. Again, just give me one con. One con to, to, to doing cars this way. Elon Musk, get on this. Get on. We need the, you know, just put, put the electric cars on hold. Put the Hyperloop on hold. This is the next generation of futuristic transportation. You're looking at it right here. You saw it first on the Scrapman channel. You know what? I'm feeling generous. I'll give you the idea for free. You don't even have to buy it off me. Just give me full credit. Actually, you know what? Don't don't put my name on this. Uh, I you can have the full credit. That's just how generous I am. 
I'm I'm so proud of this that I I just know it's gonna be so good for the people that I'm humbly refuse to accept credit. It's an anonymous donation from Scrapman. Okay. Uh, I'm actually surprised that these wheels haven't broken yet. What if we reverse direction? Oh, okay. Okay. These wheels are very resilient. Very resilient indeed. <laughs> this is just bad. This is... It, it, it... I really have nothing else to say other than it's fantastically bad. It works better if you don't press the gas. Is that sad or what? Yeah, it, it literally just works better if I don't press the gas at all. <laughs> Let's see if we can turn around. Pull 180. Look at that. Easy. Easy. It works great now. This is fantastic. Now, I'm pretty sure there's no way this could go wrong whatsoever. But I'm going to attempt to make some thruster wheels here. And we're just going to have some fun with it and see what happens. All right, so the thrusters are set up on a separate button completely than the gas, so I can activate them independently. So we can see if they work without the thrusters being on, and then we can see how adding the thruster power changes things. All right, so here we go. Thrusters off, regular gas on. This works about as well as the seats did, but now for the ultimate test, what happens when we turn the thrusters on? Here we go in three, two, one, Go! Holy, it looks beautiful. Had zero impact whatsoever. <laughs> but dang, that looks amazing. What? That is awesome. It's very satisfying to look at. Let's turn up the uh, speed a little bit because it seems to have no effect on the speed whatsoever when the thrusters get activated. All right, max speed, 10 speed. Here we go. That does not feel any different. Why does that not feel any different? That's really weird. They are all set to 10 speed and it doesn't feel any faster. All right, well, there you have it. There you have it. Thruster wheels. The question you didn't ask has been answered. What happens when you use thrusters for wheels? And uh, I'm actually really happy with the results. It gives us a beautiful visual display of smoke and uh, exhaust here. Very healthy for the environment, Elon Musk. I think this is your next, uh, after the monster truck wheel, after the wheel made of monster truck wheels, I think that this is, should be the next, the next big thing. All right, so I think that's gonna wrap it up for this episode. I had a lot of fun experimenting with these different wheel ideas, and I gotta admit, we had a, a lot of things happen that I didn't expect to happen, and I'm very happy with the results. Let me know, what was your favorite wheel? What was your favorite crazy wheel that we did? and uh, leave it down in the comments below. I'm really curious what uh, stood out to you more and what you enjoyed more. I think mine was probably the monster truck wheels, maybe. So I'm looking forward to that feedback down below. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss future content like this. This has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.